Hello friends, welcome to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we will see how to sign a PDF with digital signature certificate in Acrobat Reader. Let's begin. I have noted down all the steps here in this notepad. And we will proceed and I will explain you each step one by one. Let's jump to the step number one. So first thing first, we need to download and install Acrobat DC or any other Acrobat reader version if we don't have any one of our system. So I'm assuming you have the Acrobat on your system and we are good to proceed on the step number two. If we talk about the step number two, let's understand few things. To sign a PDF document with certificate based digital signature, you must have a digital ID. Okay, this digital ID may be provided by your organization or by the vendor. If you don't have any digital ID, no worries. You can create a digital ID with yourself. Let's understand what information is present inside a digital ID. Digital ID contains following information like your name, email address, name of organization, serial number and the expiration dates and the other information as well. So this digital ID help you to identify who has signed the PDF document. Inside the Adobe Acrobat, digital IDs are used to certify the documents or add digital signature to the documents. So friends, let's create a self-signed digital ID because we need a one to digitally sign a PDF document in step number four. So I will show you how we will create a digital ID. Okay, go to the search and type Acrobat and the version. If you have Acrobat DC, open it. Acrobat Reader, just open this one. In my case, I have this Acrobat Reader and this is the latest version. Now what we have to do, we have to go to the menu and then we have to look for the preferences option. So when you come down, you will find here. Click on it and this preferences window will appear. On the left hand side, we have the categories. In this categories option, look for the signatures, right? When you click, you will see some information options on the right hand side. Come to the identities and the trusted certificates. With the help of this, we can create and manage the identities for signing. Also, we can manage the credentials used to trust the documents. Now, click on the more button and then you will see digital ID and trusted certificate settings window. Here, two IDs are present, but we don't need this. We will create a new one. Okay. To create a new ID, you have to click on this button and this add digital ID window will appear. So here we have the option with my existing digital ID from a file. Suppose your organization or company has given you a digital ID file so you can use it. But in our case, we are going to create a fresh one. Select the second option. Click next. Now on this window, just select the first one. Because we are going to create a self signed digital ID and where we are going to store it, right? So the new file will be created as PKCS has one to digital ID file and we will save it and this digital id file will be protected with the help of a password right now click next and here at this place we have to give some information like our name so with the help of these information a self-signed certificate will be generated let's give the name organization unit means the designation inside the organization your organization name and give a, a email address then select the country name and the reason where you are and uh, leave the two fields as it is click next and on this page you can see the file name is dot pfx you can save this file at your desired location by default path is set there now you can set a password and this password will be used when you go for the signing a pdf with your digital certificate 
let's set up a password here so create a new password for here like uh, now type password again to confirm click finish and this is done and if you see uh, at this place the digital certificate is generated and added here and we have used the digital id file right okay we are done now we can close this window now go back to the notepad we have successfully completed step number two now let's jump to step now we can customize the appearance of our digital signature before going to proceed we need to capture our signature as an image to do that just open a sample pdf this is my sample pdf so here what i will do i will put a sign so i will use this one in the acrobat dc you will have the option on the top add signature now click on the draw with the help of mouse pointer you can draw the signature now click apply button and the signature will be added on this pdf so place somewhere and just increase the size and let's capture this as an image and we will save it so i will use the snip tool and i will capture the snap of my signature and i will save it here as a jpg file okay here this is saved now friends we will convert this jpg into the pdf because when we add our signature in the pdf in the acrobat this will detect only the pdf let's convert it so do the right click and print and save this as a pdf now our signature which was in the png now converted to the pdf file see this equivalent pdf is generated now go to the menu and click on the preferences on the left side in the category select the signatures and come to the first section creation and appearance okay from this section we will create the new appearance of our signature come here in the appearance click new button and this new appearance window will appear so please give a title for your appearance you can create different appearance for your signatures so you can give a unique title and there's a this there is a preview of it let's import a graphic file select the radio button now go to the browse and select that pdf the signed pdf we have just created in the previous step click ok and now you will see the preview the saved signature will appear here also you can include the following information in your digital signature like name location and the distinguished name like the company information your designation and the other information right also you can date include the date and reason also you have the option to hide the labels so with the help of these check boxes you can add the different information or you can remove once done you can simply click on this ok button to save okay now this digital appearance signature appearance created so we have successfully completed step three let's jump to step number four here we will insert digital signature on a test pdf so this is my test pdf is open you have to go to the all tools and look for the digital sign or a user certificate option when you come here see this click on digitally sign click ok and then with the help of mouse pointer draw a rectangle where you want to place the signature then this pop-up will appear select the digital id file and click continue and in the appearance box we have to select the appearance we have just created in the previous step like my digital signature see this so looking nice 
Also, it is recommended to log the document after signing. So please check this box. And here we have to provide the password for our digital ID, which we have set up at the creation of digital ID. Once you enter, this sign button will be enabled. Once you click it, this will ask you to save your PDF somewhere. So rename and save this signed PDF. Click save button. And after that, you will see the digital signature will be added on your PDF. Right now, PDF has been logged. No further changes are allowed. Also, you can see. So please note down once you digitally sign your PDF document that PDF will become read only for signer as well and the other users. So please be careful. Make a copy of your original document before signing digitally sign your PDF. So friend, this is the way you can sign the PDF with digital signature certificate in the Acrobat Reader. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button to appreciate and you can subscribe to learn more. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.